Hey, last video, we talked about tapping the end of the 80-20 so you can use an end fastener. But what we didn't cover was how to create the access hole. If you don't have an access hole, you can't tighten that end fastener hex bolt. No way to get to it. So 8020 sells, this is 10 series by the way, 8020 sells this jig. And we can put that onto the end of the 8020. You can use another piece if you like to line it up to the end. Tighten the jig into place. And you don't have to do any measurement with this jig. That's the beauty of the jig. They also sell a drill bit, fit it precisely for this jig. I'm just gonna touch it into some automatic transmission fluid so I have a tiny bit of lube on the end of my drill bit. Before I drill it, I'm gonna clamp it in place. And now we drill right through the jig. Obviously put a piece of scrap underneath there so you're not hurting your bench top. Loosen the T-nut for the jig. You'll have a lot of mess to clean up, of course. Let's do that. All right, mess cleaned up. So now we have an access hole in this piece of 8020. We can slide it on to the end fastener. And our hex fits right through the hole. Tighten it down. And there you are. Good to go. Hidden end fastener through an access hole in your 8020. We'll see you on the next one. Hey, I almost forgot. We talked about this being lined up with the end and you don't have to measure. Well, you can also slide it anywhere along your 8020, lock it into place, and drill your hole.